welcome to the March garden tour. I want to tour you through the garden and show you all the beautiful spring bulbs that have emerged and are blooming. It's beautiful. A couple of months ago, at the end of autumn, I planted 750 spring bulbs and now they're blooming. So let's get right in the tour. This gorgeous daffodil called Martinet was the first to bloom in my garden. I love it. It has multiple blooms per stems with this really cute orange trumpet and the sweet yellow petals. I think it's super cheerful and they're actually scented. Not all daffodils are scented. So this one has a sweet scent. That's <laughs> the best I can tell you, but it's really gorgeous. I had created a bulb lasagne and so we have tulips that are going to come up after. I can't wait to see those either. Right next to it, I have this gorgeous Ice King Daffodil. Isn't it gorgeous? I absolutely love it. I have four pots and they came up beautifully. Anyway, I really love the bloom structure with the open coal red. I think it's different and they look really sweet paired with Martinet. So this is the main event, the main flower bed where I planted in the ground. And I designed this with clusters of similar blooms. We start with a lower layer here of hyacinths. On either side, I added a couple of purpley tones ones here and on the other side. And then from previous planting, I had a row of white and yellow gorgeous hyacinths. I don't have variety names, but I think all this mix of color goes really well together. A droopy hyacinth like this, normally you can stake them, definitely. But I just cut them and use them as posies in the house. Really, really sweet. I mean, right now, we have our first cluster of blooms. It's a double daffodil called Replet. Isn't this apricot and white ruffle really gorgeous? I absolutely am obsessed with this daffodil. It's the third year we have it in the garden and it's always, always, always a stunner. Also, another surprise we add in the flower bed is this gorgeous pink olive oil tulip. I actually planted it two years ago and it came back beautifully every year despite really poor treatment. So I'm really pleased to see it and it's the first tulip that ever blooms in my garden, mid-March. It bloomed mid-March. Towards the back of the border, I have a drift of orange and pink tulips that are just starting to bud up and to color up. So you'll have to check back in in a couple of weeks to see those in full bloom. And power prints and purple prints. Really love that purple. And last year at the front of the garden, I had a pairing of the replet and the purple prints that bloomed at the same time also. It was the most magnificent combination. Can we talk about this? Ah! I'm so pleased with the design this year. I love the peacefulness of the white and blue. It looks really, really peaceful. <laughs> and here we have some snow crystal hyacinths, the beautiful white. I had four bulbs in each of those urns. Some is scary. And then on the second level, second level, I have more hyacinths. I went all out. It's one of my favorite scented flowers. They smell divine. This one is called Delft Blue. Over here, I have some bulbs that I reused from last year. This one is called Bridal Crown. It's really cute. And a repeat to draw a similar interest from the top and the middle of the shelf. And then on the bottom level, I have a little bit more of Simba. Simba, you're always on the footage, baby. You're so handsome. Hmm. <laughs> so wonder anything survives in this garden. <laughs> Just bridal crown narcissus. I reused it from previous project last year. It's super sweet. And then I popped some of the cineraria that I had on the table on display. And again, drawing similar interest with more Delft blue hyacinths. Really love the contrast of the orange terracotta and the blue blooms. I think that works really well. <laughs> Let me show you this. I had to tuck the table out of the way to display, to photo shoot the little shop. Just completed that gorgeous copper pot container in a previous video. I'll pop a link. Look, the narcissist tete-a-tete, -tete, this beautiful, cheerful yellow and the purple sensation hyacinths are blooming. <gasps> Doesn't that look absolutely gorgeous together? <laughs> See, did you hear that? Oh, she's jumping. Anyway, isn't this glorious? Love the mix with the foliage and the blooms. I think it's so spring. Let me put it back now because it's super heavy. Ooh. Look how gorgeous that little mix is. 
we have Miss Carrie again and I thought this was going to be Narcissus Talia, a white Narcissus with longer petals, but it ended up being Mino. So I'm not too sure why, if I bought the wrong bulbs, if I made a note wrong. It turned out for the better. I really love the combination of the yellow and the blues and also the bloom size are very similar. I also have a second container with Miss Carrie and the Talia turned Mino <laughs> Narcissus to have a bit of symmetry, I think. I think that invites the entry to this other room of the garden. I really like it. Next to it, we have a trio of pots. Again, here I have a repeat of the Martinet and it's interesting to note that this area is a little bit more shaded. So the blooms for the same variety are a bit delayed. So you can play around with that in your own garden to delay or forward a bloom. And this is the back also again. And you can see more tulips coming. Oh, this is so gorgeous. I love it. I love that it softens the edge of the sofa like this. Over here, more blooms to look forward to in a little while. I have some alliums and spring bells. Those are going to be more summer blooms. The alliums in the center and the spring bells on the side. Another surprise. It feels like blooms are opening overnight, literally. This is a gorgeous Purissima tulip. I love the white with the metal container. I think they look really sweet. And look, there's a bit of a surprise over there. Can you see? <laughs> One with a bit of purple. I think this is going to be more white. It's going to be absolutely glorious. Can you see all those buds? The Lady Gardener, again, really happy after it's prune. This is a generous gardener that I planted very recently and we can see some growth already on it. Super happy because I forgot to sprinkle the microlife fungi to help the roots, but it looks like it's still happy to grow on. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to check back in in a couple of weeks to see the rest of the blooms. We have so much to look forward to still. I'll see you next time. Bye. You're not going to jump in there again, are you? No, 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 no. Too many blooms and too little space.